what's going on everybody it's Patrick Midtown Outdoors. I wanted to bring this vid video to you um, for this Saturday video to explain some things. Now I know if you follow me I've posted the last couple weeks I think it was the last couple weeks I haven't had much up. Number one it's hotter than Hades here. Um, let me look at something on my phone real quick. I think right now you shouldn't do this way here. Right now it's 92 degrees, feels like 100. Whoops. I'm not camping in that. Not doing a whole lot of anything in that. Uh, unless it's in a pool or a lake maybe. But I'm darn sure not camping in that. Um, in a tent. So yeah, our camping stuff has kind of been throttled back until fall. Um, but with that said, that's not the only problem I've got right now. It actually has been going on, it's just gotten worse in the last several months. Um, but it's been going on for a while. Been having some numbness in my feet. And, um, here of late, I actually started right before Fall Creek Falls trip. Um, started noticing I just what didn't have any energy whatsoever. And I mean, it didn't take much to wipe me out. And that's not me. I mean, I, yeah, I, I get tired. You know, I, I, I mean, I, I don't nap. I'll say that. I'm not one that naps during the day. But here of late, especially on the weekends, you'll find me napping. So low energy, napping. Um, I don't know if you call it dizziness, but I've been having some some of that too. The numbness in the feet has gotten a little bit worse, where it's kind of getting into my legs a little bit, lower leg. And it's not something that's con well, kind of constant, but not. It's not always as bad as it is from one moment to the next. Talking to a neighbor, July 4th, I said something to him about it and started explaining to him how I felt and how things have been going and just told him, I said, you know, I just don't have any energy, dude. I said, you know, I can, I can go out in the garage and piddle fart around for a minute and I'm just about wiped out. And that's not me. Now the heat does do that if you're not used to working out in the heat. Now I'm in my air conditioned office at work. And I do a lot out in the warehouse and it's opened air. So it's, you know, if it's hundred degrees outside, it's probably 110 in the, in the warehouse, even with the fans blowing and all that stuff. So I'm explaining to him what all was going on. And he asked me, he said, have you ever checked your blood sugar? And I was like, no, never have. Now I'm a Southern boy. Grew up eating fried chicken, fried Oreos, fried whatever you could fry. Um, I always got to have the Milo sweet tea or my style of sweet tea, which is how many cups of sugar can you get in one glass? So when he said that, of course, you know, I've kind of been thinking it and explained to my wife what had been going on. She's kind of, you know, Google doctoring a little bit too, and she's like, you know, there's a good chance you're diabetic. So, M pops in my neighbor, and he's got his little test kit, and he puts in a new lancet, and we pop my finger, which I will have to say, I found out I've got really tough fingers, and it took several times to get that thing to go in. So we checked my blood sugar, 356. Now, if you don't know anything about blood sugar, 140 is your normal high point. So I was double what the norm should be. Um, 140, 120, I can't remember. If you know it, put it in the bottom of the comments down below. So what does that mean for Old Mid 10 Outdoors? Let me lower it a little bit. Well, I'll tell you what it means. I got a doctor's appointment coming up. I have lost a bunch of weight. Um, I've lost 
And I'm staying steady right now. I haven't lost any more. I've lost around 80 some odd pounds, almost 90 pounds. Um, I do have a doctor's appointment coming up. Downside with COVID, it's a pain in the butt to get a doctor's appointment around here right now. I explained to the nurse what was going on. And she said, well, let me tell you right now. She said, the soonest I can get you in is this date. So we set the appointment. One of the other things I'm doing right now, guys, is I've throttled back on just what I eat and what I, how I eat and that kind of stuff. Um, gone to a low, kind of a low carb, um, high protein type deal. Um, I have found some negatives on that. And, you know, I feel a little different, shall I say. And I don't feel as... I mean, like I cut grass today, so I came up here um, to shoot this video and, you know, they were like, we're going shopping. I'm like, I got to shoot some videos from YouTube. So I feel fairly decent right now, but I'm not 100%. I know I'm not. I'm, I know my body right now is not. Um, and it's taking its toll on some things. Um, my knees are... I've never had any problems with my knees and until now and the strength of my legs is just gone to crap I mean it really has um, so anyways I'm going to the doctor here in another week as soon as they can get me in and we're gonna get this figured out and we're gonna battle it because I'm an outdoor dude I cannot stand being in, well 110 degrees I'm not gonna be outside I'm gonna be inside doing some stuff and um, me and Chase may get to the range here in a couple weeks may try to drag his butt to the range and me and him go into a range and do some shooting and um, yeah but we kind of throw back too because of COVID um, you know schools fixing to start all kinds of crazy things are fixing to happen and uh, with the COVID stuff it's kind of gotten uh, out of hand again so they've kind of throttled things back so you know I'm kind of fine with it right now with the heat and everything and just maybe time it cools off again that everything will be back to normal but I know even the national parks close some of the parks down again because of it so anyways <sighs> didn't mean to make this video that long I'll accept all your whatever you want to do any advice you want to give please because this is a whole new chapter in my life um, I was really hoping I would not get that gene from mom that I would get all dad's genes that dad, dad never had any issues with cholesterol wasn't diabetic never had heart issues never had uh, blood pressure issues for that matter he was never on anything for any of that um, dad's biggest problems was his back and neuropathy uh, he had neuropathy real bad, which is kind of in the same realm of what's going on with me right now. But there is another kind of neuropathy that's called diabetic neuropathy that's brought on by diabetes. So that would explain all that. Now, you know, we'll just have to see what the doctor does. We'll have to see what happens. Like I said, any advice y'all want to give, give it. Um, I'm open to it because I'm, I'm not going to say I'm scared, but I'm kind of nervous kind of nervous but um that's it this is like almost 10 minutes and it's crazy didn't even be that long all right guys i appreciate you thank you for everything you guys do keep subscribing keep liking keep sharing because we're not going anywhere we just got a little road bump and a little medical issue that's kind of creeped up and slapped us all right that's all that said be prepared